A second man is charged in connection with the 2005 theft of those iconic ruby slippers that Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, this comes two months after the man who stole the slippers from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids. 76-year-old Terry Martin was sentenced in federal court after pleading guilty. 76-year-old uh, Jerry Slitterman of Crystal, Minnesota, was charged with theft of a major artwork and witness tampering. He didn't enter a plea when he made his first court appearance on Friday. Court documents say he had the slippers at one point and knew they were stolen. Yeah, and tonight we're learning the shoes have been returned to their rightful owner and will be auctioned off. Northern News Now's Michaela Wrench talks to the director of the museum about the case now coming full circle. There's no place like home, and after nearly 20 years, a pair of the famous red ruby slippers that Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz have finally been returned home to their owner. Due to the case being an open investigation, the FBI has been in possession of the ruby slippers for the past five years. But we have since learned the Judy Garland Museum hosted a reunion ceremony on February 1st, reuniting the slippers with their owner, Michael Shaw. To be able to host the reunion of the slippers to their owner at the Judy Garland Museum where this situation happened was just kind of bringing everything full circle and a really just a happy occasion. John Kelsch, the curator for the museum, said when the theft occurred and became public knowledge, it hurt the museum financially for years. The, the major impact was the fact that our credibility was shot as far as borrowing other artifacts from individuals or museums. For the past 18 years, the number one question when people call is, do you have the slippers back? I would say a positive result of this is that we actually do get visitors that specifically come to the museum because we are the place where the ruby slippers were stolen. Height says they plan to have a professionally done ruby slipper theft exhibit in the museum. The museum has also been reached out to by documentary teams and multiple directors. Michaela Wrench, Northern News Now. Now, the slippers were recovered during an FBI sting in Minneapolis in 2018. Federal prosecutors have put the slippers' market value at about $3.5 million. Now, the owner of the famous shoes will eventually be taking them on an international tour, showcasing their story before then putting them up for auction. Still